hello and welcome back to another video uh yeah we are in round eight of our manufacturer series racing the lexus gt3 car in a very weird uh, like combination so we'll be racing into tsukuba if i think i pronounced that right yeah tsukuba tsukuba in japan and uh, it's really a really small track like a uh, narrow track i might say and uh, we're racing like big fat uh, Lexus GT3 car. Not really le all people le racing Lexuses, Lexi, if you want to call them that. But um, yeah, it's GT3 cars. And GT3 cars are usually like wide body and uh, like extended wings, you know, like just for good uh, aero, aerodynamics and uh, things like that, like grip. Because of the big tires, most of them are running 365s. They are really, really wide tires. So starting off in the qualifying which was a little bit tricky because i don't like qualifying with people like following people behind or i just want to have a make a good qualifying lap which wasn't really that the case so they caught up to the guys that was doing my flying lap so that plan went fl fl flew out the window so new new start new tactic try and uh, get past through them like this jag over here decided to you know ruin it for me so I, I was just like really really messed up and I get an SR down for that like for no apparent reason he, he's the one who's worked a little bit too early and he had w worn out tires so it was, was really kind of weird for me but for this race we had to use the mediums and the hard tires which uh, we could actually use the soft tires but it was not really unnecessary for that but as you see here, there's a guy just parked at the apex. I don't know if he's trying to go into the pit lane from that point, but that point is like really far back. And I tried to go again, but uh, yeah, it wasn't really enough. And I had to quit and then start off again with another trial of a qualifying lap. And we end up with this guy driving the GTR, golden GTR, go, goes into the side of me makes me cut the kind of cut the corner which the stewards didn't give me a penalty for that I was really really kind of surprised for that but uh by the end of that like that sector was already seven tenths down from my personal best and uh wasn't really the greatest but um i did go all the way down no actually it did remain in second i think so yeah it's been a while it's been like seven days like you watch if you're watching this it'll be more than seven days from uh when uh, I did this this race round eight, which was last weekend, I just ended up down into P4. I think that's where I started off. I can't even remember. Yeah, P5 actually. Yeah. Not so far back behind, but still the top of the pack. So I decided to start with the hard tires to go for the longer stint and then turn into the medium tires for the shorter stint. So there was, yeah, before I forgot that really did happen. I went to, into the barrier like, I, uh acceleration i was still concentrating on the fuel and i forgot that uh cold hard tires are like having driving with the uh, rocks rocks as your tires on ice so you don't really have that much of a grip but when they get up to temperature you really get some uh it's not really the finest racing i must say you see i'm still struggling with the back kicking out like it just wants to go, let loose like the lexus has a lot of power I might say but um it was a good competition and I'm I'm not I'm going to like skip forward a lot because a lot of times I was just getting overtaken because a lot of people were started with the medium tires or the softer tires so that like those people who started from behind started with the softer tires most of them to gain some ground before they change onto the mediums and hard tires I didn't want to go into the pit lane for more as there's another person there in, in the, with the barrier probably got pushed wide and uh, a lap later as you see here the tires if you hit that corner over there like really really bad you're going to get like, like a little uh, bad exit on the line over here is really also very tricky like I was on the controller it's been a while since I didn't even do any practice on this uh, the Porsche cars behind me which is actually one of the best cars this track did come before on like i think 2019 if i'm not really wrong 2019 or early 20 exhibition of 2020 i think so and i missed my breaking point went into the gravel here it's just like a summary of what went on and actually like the two stint kind of really helped me 
out. I only finished in top 10. I'm, gonna go to, I'm not going to tell you the, the position so that you can just uh, like leave the video. And if, if you do like the video or like to the video, like to the video will be amazing. And I subscribe to the channel also for more content, like more GT Sport content. I might try and make some other content, but so far I'm not really like hyped up to make uh, other content. I, I ju I'm just loving the GT Sport content at the moment, like the ones, the videos that are coming up. As we, as the Aston Martin goes past me all the way down, and now I'm in sub 10. Uh, not where I really wanted to end up. But um, as I, I keep saying, but um, but anyway, again, there's a fight here kicking off. Two Mercedes, one uh, Volkswagen, which is not really good on the straight lines. You see that they're just pulling away, and he's going to try and go in and hit the pit lane right there. I don't know if he just had that, like just uh, when us when you were passing by, he just hit the pit wall, which will stop you in the dead stop, and you'll get a lot of damage, and definitely kind of a penalty, I think so, if I'm not wrong. But uh, 15 laps later, we end up all gain up to P8, again losing traction a little bit. The tires are starting to die of death, and I still I'm keeping up with the guys as they I try not to ruin the Spaniard in the Aston, not really Aston Martin, the Mercedes SLS, no, it's, not a, it's a GTR I think, yeah, it's a GTR which is actually a good car it uh, has good, uh, it's, it's kind of like a front mid front engine, but it's kind of like media because the engine is situated behind the wheels, but anyway he did get past, he did also get past these other two people and uh, yeah, he was having a good stint for himself, and I didn't want to like ruin any, anyone's race. I see that these two guys are, are going to go in for oh, like another person hits the pit lane there, which is very easy to do. Like, um, I see they were on the soft tires and are now going to change onto the medium tires into the hard tires, which they did go a long, a long way with their with those tires. And while well, Italian coming back. With an overtake, the guy who kind of fought earlier. Oh, there's an is that a Corvette behind me? I think it is. He's going to go for the launch. I'm going to try and squeeze him off, but um, yeah, I'm gonna let him go. I wanted to do 20 laps on the hard tires and then 17 no, 17 laps. Yeah, yeah, 17 laps on the medium tires so that I can have a better steam so that I can catch up with the people who are still going trying to go in for the oh it was a Porsche it wasn't a Corvette I didn't really even look at that probably you might have seen it on the replays uh, like the cinematic modes and uh, you might have caught and you might have caught me off wrong there but anyway it is what it is that at least I correct myself sorry about that but 19 laps starting of the of the 19th, 19th lap uh, towards the end that's when I'm gonna go for the pit lane. It, it said I said 20, but the tires were really, really going like dying of death completely. I was losing a lot of traction through the whole lap of 19, and now 20th lap, starting off, coming out in P15, which is not the greatest. But I'm going to gain two positions because the two other people went into the pit lane, went to the side of the Portuguese guy here, almost lost it. But uh, it's, a, it's a drag race down to the final long, long right hander, which is really, really tricky if you get it wrong. And uh, two laps later, it, uh, we do get to the Aston Martin, the DBR9, who actually, I think, was from behind. I think he's, he's also having a good, good race for himself. And uh, he's going to be in it right here as he's going to go a little bit too wide. No, no, no okay. not here. Yeah, I think a little bit later. Yeah, in the turn five, I believe he's gonna dip two tires into the grass, into the grass, and he's gonna spin himself out. But anyway, he's trying not to go into the back of the Portuguese driver right here, and he actually, I, I just really just want to have good race, like finish in first. He breaks a little bit too early. He goes for the cutback. I did a mistake there. Over oh, and there he goes into Mr. Barry over there here in that corner over there like you really have to be careful because this truck is not really flat it has a lot of bumps and if you hit again he ends up outbreaking himself goes into the gravel right there as i was saying if you 
hit the track on the wrong part like if you if you hit uh, the throttle on the wrong part you might find yourself going to the barrier like that like i did and the portuguese guy just comes back as again dirty tires trying to gain for traction now that's 32 laps in because the tail wear on this race was really really excess which for apparently no i don't know for, for apparently no reason and the portuguese guys goes in he got the softer tires which was amazing like we were keeping up with him and i had the medium tires but anyway nothing really much happened he did try and come back and catch up to me and i uh, did finish in p8 not really far down okay no actually p7 because there's a guy who didn't uh, go in for his as you see there through the short uh, through the the first corner there's a guy who didn't go in for the for his required tires and hope you did enjoy the video more coming soon and uh peace